Alrighty, while I'm here uh, trying to make some coffee and this stupid high pressure stove is oh, doing a lot of stupid shit like they usually do. There's a thing where you get a, a hot day and then followed by a cool night and it'll flare up and do stupid shit. It's just what it happened, uh, what happens when you don't have an actual regulator. It doesn't stop you from boiling the kettle, but anyway, I want to talk about this thing here. Elbow. <laughs> what a fucking selfish fucking asshole. <sighs> you know, some of you have seen money hungry people. You might have seen crystal meth addicts, ice addicts. We have them over here. You know, they're. Uh, in case we didn't think heroin addicts were bad, now you got these people. And a lot of heroin addicts have actually gone to meth. And uh, I tell you what, Elvis and money, fuck me. He's out of control. He's absolutely out of control. <coughs> Amanda May. Well, you gave money to Amanda May. Amanda May this, Amanda May that, Amanda May, Amanda May, Amanda May, Amanda May. Look, Rosie, you've done it for Amanda May. You've got to beg money to fix my van. You know, you beg the money for me and then you fix the van. Fuck, dude, could you be any lazier, you know? And Rosie said, I'm not doing this shit. And this went on. But Amanda May, you done it for Amanda May. Well, that was a mistake, and I learned from a mistake. Yeah, but but Amanda May didn't deserve it, and you done it on and on. And on. I've just said Amanda May was a mistake. On and on and on and on and on and on. Oh, fuck me! They've been hammering on about this shit for twenty minutes when I was there. Probably actually half an hour or forty-five minutes. Truth be told. <clears throat> Fucking hell. Now, we'll end with a solution to this problem as this video goes on. What amazes me is just, you know, <laughs> oh, well, I haven't got trolls. It's just your drama community people coming over. You're not going to get anywhere with the drama community. You'd grow better with the RV community. This after. Fucking Rosie's in heaps of different communities, like six different communities. Metal detecting, vintage fucking radio, and I didn't realise that she's so knowledgeable on electronics and she's there fixing up these damn things. I was surprised I'd never seen any of those live streams before until the other day. Until like two days ago, well not even that, probably yesterday morning or something. And amazing, amazing. All these other different things, moonshining, transgender, drama, and RV community. God blimey. You know, oh, well, well, well you're not going to get anywhere with the drama community. You go for the RV community. There's, there's more money, money in it. Oh, fuck me, you know. So we're going from accusing trolls, hang on, I just pour this coffee. We've gone from accusing trolls of making AdSense money because of me. And therefore I should have some of that AdSense money, blah, blah. And then it's like, well, you know, you make more money out of the RV community. And so Rosie goes, so who in the RV community has donated to you? Um, yeah, good question. Uh, the Coates? Uh, a handful of others are giving you, you know, 20 bucks here or there. Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. You know. But he's so money-minded that he's got on to Tucker. <coughs> he's got on to Tucker, who gets money for St. Jude's Hospital, which is basically a cancer hospital for kids. I'm going to report you uh, because you're keeping that money for yourself. Oh, fuck me. What, what do you want a cut of donations to fucking kids with cancer, you fucking scumbag? Like, give me a break. 
Well, but you're just keeping them in. No, he shows receipts. He shows them every time. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But money. Parody people are making money off of me. This other guy's making money saying that he's giving money to sick kids, you know, or to a hospital for cancer, kids with cancer. And on and on. Money, 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 money. Oh, look, and you know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. He is simply jealous that somebody is getting more money given to him on a live stream than he is. And that's it. He do not give a fuck if it's for kids with cancer. He doesn't give a fuck if it's for anything. Earthquake victims, whatever. He wouldn't give a shit. He's just jealous that somebody else is getting more money given to them than him. Because somehow he's, you know, he's back to that old Democrat hard left mentality of, well, you know, there's a pie and it's my slice of the pie. Now, don't increase efficiency or productivity um, or anything like that to have a bigger pie. Just say, I want my share of the pie and I want a bigger cut of the pie than everybody else has or a larger cup than what I had last time. You know, this whole idea of, well, if he's getting money for a children's hospital that deals with kids with cancer, then the money he's getting is taken away from the money I'm getting. Nah, dude, people just see a worthy cause and give money. They look at you, they don't see a worthy cause, and they don't give money. It's as simple as that. It's not like... Well, everybody's got $10 to give every week, and I want a percentage, 10, 20, 30 percent of, of that $10. No, it doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't work like that. You know, some of us have five figure bank accounts, and I know of, well, a couple that even have seven figure bank accounts that are on YouTube. And, you know, a lot of us have five-figure bank accounts. It's not that big a deal, you know. I remember, <coughs> in 12 weeks, I not only covered my expenses, but saved enough money to buy myself my last car, and it was $9,000. Yeah, I had $9,000 to spare after 12 weeks of working, including paying fuel on my other car and all the other expenses. Buying lunch, stuff like that, not a problem. And you know what? That was fucking 10 years ago. That was 2009. So. Anyway. He's just so obsessed with it. And it's almost like there's only one source of money. And that's YouTube begging. And, uh, you know, if somebody else gets some, then it must be taken away from his. Dude, you're pathetic. Then there's the whole, oh, the drama community. Well, I can take on all the drama community trolls, he said. Oh, fuck me, you can't even handle the trolls you've got now without fucking, you know, having a sook. Going, oh, I must have at least 20% viewers that are trolls. What? What? No, 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 no. The only people that aren't trolls are the people who, well, there's like one or two who aren't trolls, and then the rest uh, who aren't trolls have got wrenches. So, you know, we're looking at five people tops as there's like fucking a hundred plus crashing into shit all over you. And, you know, according to the view camp, well, there's usually about 150. So let's say that's 145 trolls and five. So what's that work out in percentages? I think that might be around the two and a half to three percent mark. It's not five percent. It might more likely be two percent and ninety-eight percent trolls. How much fucking money are you gonna make? Get this idea that if you can goes up, oh, I've got more people supporting me and more donors. Oh, so so hang on a minute. If you can increases as you're live streaming. And that means that for every one more person that you're live streaming, it's a person that likes you. You're sure it's not just us 
with an extra tablet, a new tablet, hooked to our house Wi-Fi with another account, and, and we're trolling you on four different accounts at the same time. You think? Some people are that bored that they will do that. I'm, I'm not that crazy <clears throat> that I'd do that. But, you know, some people, that's that's what they enjoy doing. But to think that your view goes up one and automatically you've suddenly got a potential donor. Look, I went from 123 to 124. That's one totally new person that doesn't know anything about me, doesn't have an opinion on me, but can be turned into a donor. Mm, it may also be someone coming over just to see what you like because people don't put their hand in their pocket five minutes after meeting you. And let's face it, the amount of shit you cause in five minutes, the amount of bullshit you come out with, hatred while claiming you don't like hatred, racism while claiming you don't like racism, bigotry while claiming you don't like bigotry, you know, slanderous crap while claiming you don't slander anybody. What you come out in five minutes with is enough to burn any new viewer. Let's face it. That's the bottom line. But you know, people, I've got an answer to all of this. How he could continue for one more year to fund all this. Now, quite frankly, you know, as uh, some of you may be aware, I would love to get hold of uh, multiple spray cans, and I've even haven't been in spray painting previously, and it's a little bit hard to do it, but I've worked out how to make a rig that will give you a stencil and a multicolor setup. Oh, well, hell, it's, it's, you can use stencils in part for this. I'm not saying it'll work perfectly. If you wanted to do it really quick, it, it wouldn't be so neat. Uh, but, uh, and I would love to do this, put great gay fr pride flags on the side of the Lisa Marie. Oh, is that a threat? Dude, no, it's not a threat. It's just my dream. I have a dream that one day I got on a plane and I got out my passport, wherever the fuck I put it, and and I do have a passport, and most of you know that, um, and, uh, and then I got on that plane and I went over to Florida and I got them spray cans and I made that rig up and I put gay pride flags on the side of your van because I think that's what you need. I just, I have a dream. It's not a threat. I just think about these things sometimes. A bit the way you think about BBC. But anyway, um, <clears throat> on to, uh, I'll just piss him with my phone here because I need to get something on my screen that I had on last night. Actually, it might have been in the early hours of this morning because by hell I stayed up late. Um, and I think this, Mr. Elvis, yes, I think this, Mr. Elvis is the answer to how you can go for one more year without even needing any donations. Without even needing any donations. Why the bloody hell is this coming up different from last time? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Hang on a minute, I'm going to pause this so you don't have to watch me doing nothing. Okay. That. There you go, Elvis. We're going to get several things worked out at once here. This is something that I remember many years ago as a kid. Coming across something like this, but these ones they had were all homemade and they actually had normal car steering wheel and they didn't have any little seats in the front. This one's actually manufactured by a company. I think it might be a British one. I don't know. Um, like made by an actual 
Oh, who knows? Who gives a fuck? But anyway, <coughs> this is actual manufactured, not homemade. And uh, sure as eggs, I think you could get one homemade, especially uh, if you know someone with a welder. Uh, I don't know if Drury's got any mates or anything like that. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's right. That is what you think it is. It's a four-wheel bicycle. Now, we can set you up so you can turn the seat into a bed because we all know you're very short and then you could have all your, your stuff stored up the top there. So I'll get rid of that and we'll replace it with like a big roof rack pod type thing. Uh, and then, you know, we're going to solve several problems at once with all this. And what we're going to do... Oh, fuck this thing. Get out of the fucking thing, you piece of shit. What we're going to do is uh, the following. And now this is just a plan to keep you going for one more year. First of all, we're going to sell that fucking van, right? Okay. Then, while uh, just making do with a, a $12 tent or whatever, some cheap Walmart tent or something, um, you know, you got to go out and get a couple of bikes. Now, the fact is, if you're smart enough, with the money you've got now, you can get the bikes first, build this thing, and when she's, like, well on its way to being built then you can put the van on the market. So then once the van sold, you would have covered the cost of a couple of old bikes, and you're probably better to use older American-made bikes because the steel's going to be better than that brittle Chinese shit steel. Um, you know, get it welded up, uh, you know, sand it back a bit or what needs to be cleaned up, you know, with a wire brush and a bit of sandpaper or whatever, Spray it with, uh, speaking of which, I'm going to go out today and uh, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought but I'm going to give it a shot anyway to clean up some of that rust that's just getting a little bit on the surface near the tailgate so it doesn't end up being a problem in uh, years to come but, oh I've got a lot of different colours here, white, silver, black, but what you need first is this one. So that's red oxide, it's also known as iron oxide, it's a primer, uh, and that's a fairly good brand too, uh, it's one of the best brands actually, about the second best actually, um, and the long and short of it is that, uh, you know, you can spray it with cans and then you put whatever colour you want after you give it a layer of primer, and uh, you know, you could be on the road and you could be out there. Now, first of all, you'll lose weight. Second of all, you'll really appreciate every destination you get to because you had to fucking put some effort in to get there. And I'm not talking about financial effort either. And then thirdly, uh, well, you would have the money left from selling the van, which is probably going to be in the thousands, and you can live off of that. Just imagine. It's going to cost you Fuck all, like it's going to cost you less than a thousand dollars to do this, you know, it may only cost you, it's probably likely to only, really speaking, if you get someone else with the welder and buy a few bits of extra steel and, and fuck around and, and, you know, try and get stuff out of junkyards and old bench seats, maybe if you manage to go to a place where you can salvage a bunch of golf cart parts and get golf cart seats out of it or something like that and put those in, even the canopy on the top, get one of those golf cart canopies because it's a proper fiberglass one, you know, someone with a bit of skill, a bit of time, like you can have something that comes out really properly professional and it and you could have everything you needed. You could have a bed in the fucking thing. You could have a, a storage pod in the roof. You could... The fucking whole lot. In fact, you could have like a mesh. You could have like your fucking little canopy that goes over your, your golf, golf cart, your fiberglass one. And you could have little mesh bits that come down so you can keep all your shit in there. 
inside where the, you know, where the mesh is. So it'll keep dry, but it didn't cost her a fortune to put it on, unlike somebody who put on a $392 two fucking bits of aluminium for a roof rack, like me. <laughs> and it'll be under $1,000, guaranteed. No matter how good you wanted to make this thing, it'd be under $1,000. If you wanted to make a fairly shitty one, it might only be two or $300. Then you've got a few thousand dollars or whatever you fucking think this van's going to sell for to continue travelling for another year. And you don't have to worry about, what's his name, paying registration or insurance or any of that bullshit either. So you save even more money than that. You know? And you lose weight. So you avoid having a heart attack. It's a fantastic idea. I recommend you, you go ahead with it. I'm not saying I'd necessarily build the thing for you, but, uh, oh, if you're going to use it, fuck me. You know, if you could guarantee that you're going to use it, but you can't guarantee anything because you always fucking turn around and do something opposite from what you said. Um, you know, we, uh, I'd always be tempted to build it if I knew you were going to fucking use it for at least six months. But, you know... Imagine the blowback if I'd done that. But uh, I'm sure it'll make for some of the funniest fucking live stream footage you just about get flattened by fucking big rigs and then turn around and say, oh, I used to be in the trucker community. Uh, not really, bro. <laughs> but anyway, that's my thought to keep you on, you're on the road, Elvis, and it's just, uh, you know, just... Uh, Take it as you will.